Yo, yo, guys, Cal me take from Off Targets Fab and Prepping. In this video, I'm going to be going over my water filtration or purification kit system for my main bug out bag or my inch bag. The purpose of this is to go into my inch bag, which is intended in this situ uh, in situation I'm intending this for, is some kind of end of day situation. I'm never going to be coming home again. I'm going to be going to one of my bug out locations and I'm never going to see my house again. So, everything that I'm going to need to survive in the long term as an indefinite situation is going to need to be in my kit ready and one of the most important things is water purification and you know getting water into you you can survive a long time without food um in comparison you can without water so you definitely need to have a really in-depth water filter filter and purification kit which is kind of what i think i've got here i'm going to go over all the items now you have, might have more you might have less this is just what i personally think i need and hopefully it'll give you some ideas so we'll start with the easiest way you're going to get purified water which is going to be using something like a filter straw so in here i do have the soya mini filtration kit i've got all the bits and bobs in there the bag i've got the stuff to you know suck it out and clean it and all that blah 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 to get any extra bacteria out so the soya mini filtration kit now that's obviously a really good one i see that in all sorts of survival kits and bug out bags um it's a really good filter I've used it, tested it, it does seem to do the job. Um, now, another one I do have here, this was the first filter straw I ever bought. It was off Amazon for, I think, like £15. It was just, as you see here, you know, the tube and the filter. And I've used this a few times. Every time I've pretty much gone out and about, this has been in my kit. And it still works. I've probably only realistically filtered through it about 20 litres. And I think it can filter through it about... 2,000 litres is the minimum that can go through this. So, this is just there as well as that one as a backup. And I do have more filters in all my other kits that, as I've said in the past, will become secondary kits for other people in my family. Do you know who I live with? The, my other bug out bags that you've seen me make will go to them. But yeah, so many here I do have two filters. Do you know what I have? The Soya Mini, I have another one that works as well. Um, Now, with both of them, you can screw them onto these bottles like that. I think this is about. Uh, I think it's, I don't think it's a litre, I think it's about 750 millilitres, I might be wrong though, but whatever, you know, I can put water in there and I can squirt, squirt it through if I didn't have access to that bag. Just another way to get water to purify, or I could simply, you know, if I just wanted to carry, you know, a couple of these items, if I just carried them to, I can keep on putting purified water into me just by supporting that on like this, I'll show you how it goes on. And that's simply the just need a lanyard. Is you know, I think I think it's 750 milliliters. I don't think it's a liter. So yeah, so that's 750 milliliters of purified water in me right there. It's quick and simple. Put the lid back on that in a bit. Um. Then now we'll get into because we're still on filtering. Now obviously I'm going to need to get a large amount of water now in my bug out bag. Um, my inch bag, I do also have bin bags or drum liners, whatever you want to call them, heavy duty bin bags pretty much, and my plan is basically to cut a hole in the ground and store water on the ground so it stays cool and you know, obviously I'll find a way to you know stop contaminants getting in from around but basically to put, you know, like double so I've got four, so I'll put make two things that would hold, I don't know how much a bin bag averagely holds, and I'm going to need to fill that up and obviously using this is going to take a long time now another way to filter it is with something like this and this is just a canvas bag it's really old school really simple uh, i've used one of these when i was about i've used i've used one of these years ago i think it was like one of when i first got into all this I, I think one of my friends had one but yeah pretty much it's really simple to use you scoop up water tie onto a branch or something like that and it will drip through the bottom there and filter it now i've seen some people say that you can use this uh to basically 100% purified of water but I would probably boil it as well just to be safe now speaking of filtering obviously there could be big contaminants in the water if it's a questionable water source so I'll just have a sieve here uh, basically just to you know pull water through to get any bigger contaminants out as well as using something like that or my filter straw just to get bigger contaminants out to lessen the risk and obviously you're probably thinking it'd be awkward but I could simply just put that over it you know like over there and then scoop it under the water with that in so I won't have to you know mess about doing all the stupid stuff so now let's go into purification so probably the safest way I would say 
I've never really seen anyone complain about, you know, these not working. So in here, it says 50 on the packet, but I've got about double that now at least. I've just got all my purification tabs, come with a bug out bag, a wrench bag, all stuffed into here. So, 100 purification tablets at least, so that is 100 litres of water. But pretty much that's for more or less just for when I'm on the go and I want to carry just a slight simple way. Now obviously, since I only have, I know there's 10, yeah. I can't be able to see the maths, yeah, there's about 100 in there. But yeah, it's 100 litres of water. Now obviously at some point, they're going to run out. Now just as a backup in here, I do just have an old eye drop container. And it's got bleaching. As you can see there. So it's... I can't remember, it depends, it all depends on how contaminated the water is, I've seen some people say it's a drop to a litre, but to be safe, I've seen most people usually put three drops from that to a litre of water, do you know if it's a questionable water source, <coughs> sorry about that, uh, so, now, last but not least, and probably my main way of doing it when I'm just chilling around camp to save these as long as possible, would be boiling it, so that's just a little cup for me to drink out of, it's just on top of it, I'm going to keep it. But this is just a stainless steel, I don't know, some, it's, it's some metal that can handle here. I remember looking into it. So pretty much simple, do you know, I'd fill this up, it's a litre exactly in here. Um, tie that onto a hook, do you know, a bit, bit of cordage, whatever, do you know, wooden hook. Wherever I happen to make when I'm out there, do you know, I've got loads of carabiners, could use one of them, they ain't going to burn through them. And simply just put it on the fire like that, and the heat will rise and boil the water. So, just another way to get... Well, I mean, that probably will be my main way, and I also do have other pots in my kitchen kit and stuff I could use to, you know, uh, boil water in as well. But yeah, guys, um, that is pretty much everything that I carry in my bug out bag or wrench bag to keep clean water and get clean water into my system, purified water and all that. That's more or less it for this video, guys. Nothing really else to say. I hope it gives you some ideas. Peace.